Tourists come from all over the world to snap a photo of one of Washington's most famous residents. China is a key market for the U.S. capital, with its tourism board even starting a special program to help hotels, restaurants and other businesses attract Chinese visitors. The marketing firm Destination DC says the 2018 figures are just a minor blip. When you look at uh, significant growth, clearly there's going to be a point in that growth where you're going to see somewhat of a, a flattening or correction of, of, of those numbers as a whole. I think that there continues to be a lot of interest, therefore there will continue to be a lot of growth. But recent tensions between the U.S. and China are spilling over into the tourism sector. Last year, Chinese authorities issued a travel warning to their citizens, cautioning about crime and the high cost of health care in the U.S. The State Department in Washington then placed China on a level two warning, telling U.S. travelers to exercise increased caution when visiting China. Experts in the tourism industry say Chinese tourists are also changing. They believe younger people from China don't just want to see the sites as part of a tour group, they want a unique experience. Instead of booking a package with a tour operator, they're using smartphones to research and book their holidays. More and more younger people, the millennials, clearly uh, like to travel uh, on their own and leverage the technology in searching and finding destinations and based on social media, uh, 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 consumer-generated feedback, and then make their own decision where to go. The U.S. Travel Association predicted Chinese tourists would outnumber every other nationality except the U.K. by 2020. But the latest figures show China's rapid climb up the rankings is slowing down, at least for now. Giles Gibson, CGTN, Washington.